Sister love, one who always knows when you're feeling low. Sister love. First kiss. Hello guys, welcome back to NJ Click. What's popping? So today I will be doing a QA. And and it'll just be me because my sister is at work right now. So I recently posted on my Instagram that if you guys have any questions, you can send it. And everybody went off. Like, y'all are wild. I'm not capping. Like, y'all are so wild. But anyways, yes. And I also posted on my WhatsApp, so I got questions on my app as well. So, and most of the questions, then, most of the questions are from me. So it just be as I said before. So I have about like 15 or 10 questions on my phone because I just screenshotted them. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Uh so like the first question is you know Miss Jamaica. Well I don't really miss Jamaica because there was nothing there for me, only my friends and family. So that's the only thing I miss because like nothing there Jamaica for me. So we mega miss. Hey, we mega miss. And not briefly Jamaica and nice unless you have money. So it's not in a dead air. So yeah. And the next um the question number two is do you plan on staying single forever? Well, well, <laughs> man, I plan to stay single forever, you know, but John you know, man, I issues and problems and crosses and child and tribulation and everybody you now, and, and me cannot deal with the BS, I'm too young, and to all the world is running right now, if you give a man born, you're dead, and not saying I cheat, but like, I cannot. And I'm not ready and man is not it. I have too much on my plate right now at this very moment because I just started college and like things are about to get real. So like I have no time for men. Like man, I'm not it right now. So I'm gonna plan to stay single forever. But when I time, I time. But if God put it that way, who am I to question God? Hmm? Who is me to question the Lord? Tell me, please. Um, number two is in Yagi Jam Jam a feature. She's on the channel, and you guys will see her. Not really often because she has work, so you guys will definitely see her now and then. But it was mostly been me. So, how are you adjusting to life overseas? I am adjusting. Excuse me, sorry about that. I'm adjusting day by day because I adapt to any environment I'm in. So I'll get by. I will survive. So yeah, I adjust. Things are kind of different here, but I just have to get used to it. So yeah. Uh, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is not accomplishing my dreams because if I accomplish them, I'm going to mad, literally, because I can't live like this forever. Not saying I live a bad life, but like just saying I want to accomplish my dreams and I want to make my mother proud because my mother and my sister and my you know everybody around me proud and myself of course because if you're not making yourself proud then it just doesn't make no sense. I know I talk with a lot of an action but it's just a habit so like yeah. But like yeah, if I don't accomplish my dreams I'm going to mad like period. So yeah. Um Next question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years time? I see myself happy, most deaf, because right now I'm not stable, but I'm getting there. See myself happy, a proper life, a proper job, and all those lovely stuff, you know? YouTube, of course, because I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere, guys, so you guys will see me. <laughs> but yeah, see myself happy and all those, you know? Um, age. I am 17 years of age. 
I'm 17 and I'm turning 18 February the 13th. So if you guys want to give me any gift, y'all can DM me and I'll give you the information. So yeah. I'm turning 18 guys. I'm grown, period. So yeah. Um sweet or spicy. Sweet. Me a girl can manage spice. Me cannot. Pepper anything with pepper. Me stay by the sun, pepper stay by your sun because me cannot deal with it. Because as soon as some pepper go in a my mouth. These nuts <laughs> a problem. No start run, I start on water, everybody, everything do me now. So me stay over the sweet side. Yes. Um, weirdest thing you've done. I am a weird person, so I, I probably cannot pinpoint anything right now, but my weird bad. My friends can tell you. Me, weird bad. W weirdness to stop us so. My weird bad. I'm not ask. Like, my weird. So, there's a lot of weird things that I've done, but can't pinpoint nothing right now, but yeah. Um, most embarrassing experience <laughs> Yo, this is so embarrassing. It's not even funny like literally like bro so <laughs> Why I'm so ghetto that was so ghetto a while ago. I'm in the ghetto right up anyways So most embarrassing <clears throat> experience Anyways, like most of the time, say anyways, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> so like, when I had a boyfriend, right? And nobody knows about this, like nobody at all. So I, I had a boyfriend, and I went to town to see him. That was when I was in Jamaica, of course, obviously, because. But yeah, I went to town to see him, and like. We had our differences and stuff, and stuff happened, stuff escalated, and all that lovely things that happened. And we were outside in big, big don't no people. You tell me, big, big downtown, you know, big, big downtown. And I was there, and like he had a, we had an argument before we came out the restaurant, and because I think it was our, our anniversary. I'm not a good storyteller, so my probably go, you know, but yeah. You know, we understand, when I ask, so like I understand. But yeah, and like, <laughs> I came out and like, he was arguing about some stuff, but I think he was some best friend stuff, cause I had a boy best friend and, like that, I forgot to say for one different story time. I'm not gonna get that story. I'm not gonna ask, I'm gonna tell you no, and I'm gonna know it because, yeah, I'm not going know that story there because the story there, I tell you in a normal. But yeah, and like we had an argument, and like we came out, and he was shouting, and I was like standing there because, I tell you, things like these never happened to me, ever. Nobody never had embarrassed me so yet in my life. Oh, my, them I them, uh, think them that at that time I was like 16. All my 16 years of life. So, next question is um, okay, wait. Um, what's the most surprising self realization you've had? <laughs> Yo, the most surprising self realization I've had is that this is kind of sad, but I am. D E P R E S S E D. Yes, I'm not going to say the word because I just can't. But yeah, and I realized after I was doing dancing and stuff, so not never really bother me them time there because I stopped dancing in like the ninth grade. So yeah, I was dancing from basic school come straight up to ninth grade in high school. So yes, it's a lot of years, lot of man hours. <laughs> So yeah, I realized after I finished dancing that things are actually, you know, bothering me. But I never really paid no mind because, you know, dancing is there. So I mostly focus on that and my schoolwork. But like, yeah, that's the most surprising thing. I never realized till 9th grade. Eh? 9th grade, bro? That's everything, 9th grade. Tell me now, eh? But yeah, that's that. Next question, you prefer get bonded with a stranger or your close friend? 
So y'all see what I mean when I say the people went off? Because like, what is this? Huh? What is this? You prefer get born with a stranger or your close friend? I prefer to not get born at all because I cannot manage born. I cannot share. I don't do those stuff. So I prefer to not get born at all. And I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> Why prefer get born as with my close? So may I go, may I go try and answer question. Just for the, you know, but prefer me get born with one stranger because if we get born with one close friend now, like close friend with everything, we don't something would have to something would have to happen, something would have to happen because it cannot it cannot work like that, can't work like that. So yeah, who was your first kiss? I think my first kiss was I was like 12 or 13, I don't remember, but it was like there, like it just there, like okay, whatever, first kiss. It never really mean nothing, cause it's just, it just did it, like alright then, but get kissed for the first time, whatever. So yeah, um, best childhood memory. I think my best childhood memory was when I went to an hotel. I will never forget that hotel. Sunset Beach Hotel is the best. Not asking nobody. It's the best. I am not asking. Me not ask. Not asking at all. It's the best and it was like so fun. And the sunset there is so it was on point, like literally, like period. So it was, it was that that was my best time remember. Going to that lovely hotel right there. Yeah. Um Next question. Suppose you could do a collab or whatever they call it with a YouTuber, who would it be? Who would it be? I don't know. I, yo, we don't really. We don't know. Honestly, tell the guy and it's true. We don't, we don't know. But as time goes by and then I ask for that again, I definitely know. I'll I'll definitely know them, but no, I don't know. I, never, I really don't know. <laughs> I I did ask, don't know. Like, but yeah. Um, next question. Oh, that's it. Oh, the questions are finished, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and click the notification bell so you guys will be notified every time I post every time my sister and I post and don't forget to follow us on Instagram at nalia.p me at nalia.p and my sister at pretty plus tax jam underscore dot com yes I got it right and yeah see you guys next time bye